All right, so we're going to look at the part of the song where it makes everybody want to raise their hands and cheer, cheer yes. Each part of the song has a really big part that's like a big, it's a big release. It's a big, just a really big part of the song. It's, and every song usually has this, has you know, a song, if you track it online, it goes up and builds and builds and builds. Then it has like the big re reveal or I don't know how, I don't know how to describe it. But each song, especially worship songs, usually have this. And we're going to look at how do you take that, Part of the worship song and make that translate into uh, video shots. It usually comes, well, seems to work really well, and it's pretty easy to uh, repeat or uh, duplicate. Is having a big, having big motion to go with a big part of the song. And again, this always comes back to knowing the music and knowing when this is in the song. Some songs can have it like two times um, or one time. This is just the big part of the song where everyone throws their hands in the air and throws their hands in the air and says, "Yes, this is awesome." And we're gonna take a look at it here uh, for the blessing, and let's just uh, let's take a look. So here we go. So leading up to this shot, um, I know that during this part of the song here, this is building, 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 and I made sure on the headset talking to the camera people to have this person on camera already backed up to this position so we would not miss this moment in the song. You can't hit this moment in the song on camera unless this person is already in position. And this also meant we had to maybe take a little bit of sacrifice on our other shots because this camera person is not closer to certain band members to get the, really those really fun shots. But during this part of the song, I told camera five, I need you to get ready for part of the song we're going to do I just we just call it a sweep um, because you sweep in or you sweep sideways or you just you know you sweep across the stage or you sweep into the stage however you want to call it but during this part of the song I had them already positioned to be out uh, let's see be out here and you have to hit this part of the song I actually missed it just a little bit I should have hit it on the ah man right at the beginning of the ah man But I missed it. That shot would have been really good if I hit it on the on man or that drum hit. Kind of, they kind of happen. They kind of happen at the same time. So I should have switched to that sweeping shot right, right just before this moment. It's also important to you can tie in a big sweeping shot with another sweeping shot, so you have. You had camera five come in on a sweeping shot and then cut the camera four on drums. And that's another sweeping shot. And you can tie these shots together to kind of paint a picture of uh, there's big emotion in the song. And there's also the camera movement has big emotion in its movement. The, the big thing to remember when doing these shots is to not cut away too soon. You want to let the sweep or you want to let the motion play out. As you can see here, you want that motion to play out. As you can see in the drums, he starts on one side of the drums. If I had cut away here, it probably would have been okay, but you want that sweep to kind of come to have a beginning and the end. And the same thing goes for in this shot. Same thing goes for this shot here. I don't want to cut away too soon. If I cut away too soon, it'll feel um, it'll feel like I got cut off. And you want to let you so you want to let your camera operator on the stage actually finish their their motion, finish their movement. Again, this comes to listening to the song and knowing this part usually comes out of the bridge. When you come out of the bridge and you come into the chorus out of the bridge towards the end of the song, typically that's where this kind of movement and this part of the energy of the song usually lives, or where it's placed when they compose a song. It's coming out of the bridge into the chorus towards the end. It's not always the case, but that's kind of how it usually it usually works. And that's how you kind of throw in a really big movement when the song gets really big as well too. And this song actually builds again, and you can kind of repeat this again when the song builds and then has this moment again. It, it kind of does it again as you, if, if you remember during Easter service. But that's how you, that's how you uh, take a song and, um, has a big moment and translate that to uh, movement and camera shots. All right, and that's it for now and we'll uh, keep watching, thanks.